Live Doppler. And there is Nicholas this afternoon. Currently a tropical storm. Peak winds of 65 miles per hour. Looks like it makes landfall sometime around midnight tonight near Matagorda, Texas, something like that, and then turns northeastward. Lots of tropical moisture with this. That flooding concern, both storm surge and from the heavy rainfalls, the big thing. And the tropics are active like crazy. This feature could develop off the east coast of the U.S. later this week. This one most likely will develop another strong tropical wave coming off the uh, African coast here, another Cape Verde storm, it looks like. Here's the latest on Nicholas. As of the 4 o'clock advisory, moving north, northeast at 12 miles per hour. So a pretty slow moving storm. And look how tightly packed all these time indicators are, indicating it's going to slow up. And that's bad news. It's a tropical storm. It has loads of tropical moisture. That means heavy rainfall totals with this thing as it moves on east. Here's one model of what the storm might mean for us. It spreads rain, some of it into our area tomorrow, but not a whole lot, mostly over our western counties. I think it becomes a bit steadier during the day Wednesday. Some indications Wednesday could be the wettest day or maybe Thursday or Friday. It's going to be a close call. Some of the rain will be more down along the coastline. That's where the biggest totals will take place, but we'll still get a fair amount here too. One model prediction is this. It shows as much as three to five inches. Most of our indications are it might be a little bit less than that. Could still be enough for some localized flash flooding, though, so we'll have to be aware of that. We're getting some heavy downpours right now that have nothing to do with Nicholas. On the east side of town especially, you can see some rain falling there. As we look at the WVTM 13 Live Doppler, those are the showers we see here. Otherwise, isolated thunderstorms and a few showers over our western counties moving generally toward the northeast. Nobody is getting it for an extended period of time, but it is raining pretty hard on the heaviest cores of these things. On uh, downtown Birmingham now getting some of that rain toward Irondale and surrounding areas too. As we go through the next 12 hours or so, we expect the showers to go away, then come back tomorrow. Probably a few rounds of showers tomorrow, especially over the western two thirds of the area, and that'll become more concentrated during the day on Wednesday. By later on Wednesday afternoon, maybe a fairly steady rain falling, especially over the southern half of the area. Seven day forecast looking like this. Another tropical system affects us tomorrow. Chance of a shower 86 for your high impact weather on Wednesday. Rain likely that day and a bit cooler too. the high 80 might stay in the 70s. Later this week, Thursday and Friday, one or two of these days may eventually become an impact day too, depending how concentrated the rain is through here. I think over the weekend, more typical showers and thunderstorms scattered about during the afternoon and then by Monday up to 86 degrees.